Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video in the Spigot series. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can connect to your database using IntelliJ Ultimate. I feel like when I'm with you, I'm losing. I feel like you think that this amusing. Sitting there, gaslight, and confusing. Was it me? Is it me? Am I All right, guys, last episode, we made the Stat Tracker plugin, which is a plugin that uh, contains stats on each player and stores it into a database so that you can store it persistently. And that was fun. We're using a MySQL database. And make sure you go watch that episode if you haven't already. But last episode, I told you guys that you can connect to your database within IntelliJ itself. And then once IntelliJ is connected to your database, it'll actually give you intelligent syntax highlighting and suggestions whenever you're making your SQL queries, all right, or uh, statements, all right? So to be able to do this, you're going to need IntelliJ Ultimate, which is a paid version of IntelliJ. Uh, IntelliJ comes as a community version and then as a ultimate version. Community is free, but IntelliJ Ultimate costs money unless you have a student email or you can actually use the new Code EJB promo code for three months free on any JetBrains IDE, such as IntelliJ Ultimate, C-Line, PyCharm, WebStorm, any of those. So try using that promo code if you want to, if you don't have a student email, and you can get IntelliJ Ultimate for three months for free. So when you're checking out, just click the Have a Discount Code button and then enter Code EJB into that and it'll give you the three months off, okay? Anyway, so once we are in IntelliJ, go to database here, and this is where you can find all that. And now here we can add a new data source or database to this. So click this, data source, and now you can select all these different types of databases. In this case, we have a MySQL database, so click that. And now we can provide the information to connect to it. Let's go to make sure our database is started though. So make sure WAMP is started, WAMP server. Okay, it should be started now, looks good. And now inside of here, you can provide the information for how to connect to your database. So host, localhost, port 3306, authentication using password. So the username is still just root, and then there's no password to provide. And then the name of the database that we have for this plugin within our MySQL server is called stat tracker. So stat underscore tracker, tracker rather. There you go. And this actually gives you the URL that we used within the plugin itself within JDBC to connect to it within the code, which is cool too. So this is actually using JDBC behind the scenes to connect to your database. IntelliJ is using JDBC itself. So once you enter all the connection information, just click test connection to know if it's working or not. And there you go, succeeded, perfect. And it gives you all this cool information it found. And then if it says anything like this, uh, then that's cool because IntelliJ is smart enough to recommend the best drivers and the dialect and all that stuff for you. Remember there's different types of SQL servers. There's different uh, dialects of SQL language. So IntelliJ will ask you to use the one that corresponds to the database that you're connected to so that it gives you intelligent, you know, syntax highlighting and uh, suggestions and all that stuff. So click this and there you go. So that's how you can connect to it. Um, this is all you got to do for that. Make sure you click apply and that should save it. So now it appears here. We can go ahead and click OK now. And there you go. So now this opens up a console here and this is where you can execute SQL queries onto your database if you want to, if you know how to use SQL. So for example, we know that we have a player stats uh, table probably right now, but we're not sure. So we're just going to do show tables. That should show tables. So click that. That's going to execute the SQL query on our database. And we did show tables and it says one row retrieved and here's the result player stats. So we have the player stats table as the result because that's the only table we have. So let's just go ahead and print out all of the rows within the player stats table if there are any. So we'll do select all from player stats. And look, as you can see here, it's giving intelligent suggestions. Because IntelliJ is connected to your database currently, it knows all of the details on your database. So it tells you, it gives you a suggestion for what table you want to provide. There you go. Pretty cool stuff, right? Click that. And there you go. So now it gives you the, the row. There's only one row within this table at the moment, which is, which is just this one here. So that's how you can execute SQL queries on your database if you want to, after connecting to it within IntelliJ. On the side here, you have more information that you can grab. So you can expand this and you can see more schema information or more information on the, the tables within your database. So this is just the general makeup or modeling of our database. Not too interesting from our perspective at the moment. We can play around with that if you want to. And yeah, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. You can right click this and there's a bunch of cool little tools you can use. You can export data to file. If you want to essentially take your SQL data and back it up, you know, export it as some sort of static file. That's something you could do. You have database tools, um, just a bunch of stuff you could really explore. Some stuff I've never messed with. But my favorite thing is if you right click this and go down all the way, you have, you have this diagrams option here. 
and you can click show visualization and it gives you a visualization of your database as a UML diagram. I'm not sure exactly if this is like perfect UML for some kind of custom diagram tool, but and UML stands for Unified Modeling Language, and it's just a simple way of representing objects or entities within a diagram so that you can visualize what, you're, what you have in your applications, okay? So that's useful for building object-oriented programs or even databases, you know, because databases are made of entities just like object-oriented programs are. So what this has done here is taken our database here, we only have one table within it, and modeled it as a simple uh, entity here, whatever you would call this. So it's called player stats, and then within that we have different fields. So defs, kills, box broken, balance, last login, last log out, and the UUID is the private key, or the primary key, excuse me. And yeah, gives you the data type of each of these. And then if those tables had relationships or connections in any way using what's called a foreign key, it would actually show lines between the two you know, entities uh, to show the connections, which is really cool. This is really fun for uh, building your application out and modeling what it's gonna look like. So we can explore this in the future with our future plugins, but for now, just know that this is something that you can do within IntelliJ, which is pretty fun to play with. And if we go to back to database.java now, we can see that the syntax highlighting is now no longer yellow, it's green because it's valid SQL. So it's basically parsing it for you to make sure you're providing proper SQL. And also it should give you autocomplete suggestions here now. So based upon the dialect you selected for this you know, SQL implementation, as well as the uh, the database that you're connected to, the information that it has grabbed from that database. So let's say that, for example, we want to grab you know, these specific um, columns from the database and return it. So we can do select, and as you can see, it's giving us suggestions on that, so select. And we can do UUID, and it's giving us suggestions for that, which is cool, uh, comma deaths, comma kills, from player stats. Pretty cool stuff, right? So with all that said, that just makes your uh, experience within IntelliJ much more awesome whenever you're building SQL queries and working with SQL in general. And you can directly have the database within here. And now if you don't want to, you don't have to rely on PHP My Admin to see what data is inside of your database. You can actually just view it within IntelliJ directly using the tools provided. So you'll see me using this in the future episodes. So look out for that. And now you know how to use it yourself. So play around with it some more to see what other cool stuff you can do. And thanks for watching. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video, although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers, so you can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can, get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I wanna tell you is that if you wanna support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members. And also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.